All right, time now, 502. We're following breaking news this morning out of Norfolk. That's where police are investigating a crash that ended in an arrest. It happened on Brambleton Avenue near Park Avenue. Rico Bush has been at the scene all morning long. Rico, what have police been able to tell you about the driver? Well, Don Lex, we are working to gather more details about that driver, but we do know that one man is in custody. Here's a live look at this scene. We're going to get to that information in a little bit about what happened here, but I want to show you right now a wrecker is picking up a car that was actually damaged uh, during this crash here. To my left, I want to show you another vehicle that was damaged as well. Uh, big police presence here, a chaotic scene overnight. There's actually two different scenes, one near Norfolk State University near 7-Eleven. The opposite one is right here. Here where we are right now. Now so let's show you some video of that 7-Eleven. This is actually where all of this ended. Now we're told that police say that all of this happened around 2 uh, 45 this morning. A source tells me a vehicle took out several power poles and crashed into several vehicles near Brambleton Avenue where we are right now. That suspect got out of the car and ran away to that 7-Eleven where police were able to capture him and arrest him. That's near Park Avenue and just feet away from Norfolk State University as we we're just mentioning. One witness told me he heard the crash in the convenience store's parking lot. He said it sounded like an explosion. Take a listen. He had knocked out like about maybe about 10 cars, brand new cars, old cars, knocked down a telephone pole. And, I mean, knocked out all the power down there because we heard the big bang down here. Now, after that crash, uh, several homes lost power. Uh, power crews are still working this morning to restore electricity and fix that broken power pole. Uh, several of them that were actually broken from this crash. Back at her live, you can see right now as police officers are in front of uh, this uh, scene here as they continue to watch over it um, until they move all the cars from this area. I'm told that one officer was hurt during that overnight arrest. That officer has been treated and is expected to be okay. That's the latest here from Norfolk. As soon as we get any more details, we'll be sure to let you know. I'm Rico Bush. Guys, back to you.